Hey, this is Al McGee with YETicket.com. I'm here with Jarek Doll, and he's for, here for his new film, uh, uh, Indemnity. And man, he really has a great action uh, role in this film. Nice to see you, Jarek. Thank you, Al. Thank you for having me. And uh, hi to all you, your people and everybody watching there. Oh, thank you. Now, tell us about your, your role. Tell us about Trek. Uh, Theo. Theo, Theo. Yes. Thank you. Well, Theo, Theo is a, is a, so I'm Jared, I play the role of Theo Abrams. And, um, you know, Theo is your, is your, um, is, is a firefighter. He, he's, he's, he's a husband, he's a father. And, um, you know, he's, is someone who, uh, who is just, you know, trying to make ends meet. He's from, you know, a small town in Cape Town. Um, and he's just trying to, you know, earn a living and live his life. And he's also, you know, dealing with a lot. Uh, he's dealing with a lot of, a lot of, um, a lot of uh, issues that he's trying to come to terms with. And um, he's um, dealing with, you know, being a father, being a wife to his, uh, to his beautiful wife. And so, yeah, man, it's, it's, it's an interesting little character that we, you know, I got the opportunity to play. And there's some stuff that I would just leave uh, uh, up for you guys to see. So, yeah, man, he's just a lovely young man who's a, he's a good dad, um, father, a uh, good w a husband to his wife, but has a lot of things that, he's, that he gets to deal with. And, uh, yeah, man, just a lovely character to be able to immerse myself in. Yeah, and the reason I mentioned Travis, I just uh, interviewed your director, Travis. Yes, yes. <laughs> and uh, but he told me that the reason he chose you for this role is because that you knew how to act in this role, and I thought he chose you because of your physical abilities, your martial arts abilities, and things like that. But he said he chose you because you understood the role and you can act in this role. Is that why? Is that you felt that also? I, I think that's really that means a lot that he said that, man. You know, it actually does. I, he, he, I always wonder why people cost me. <laughs> always wonder. But no, man, that that actually means a lot from hearing that he said that because you know we've, I've, you know, the thing is with South Africa and uh, the film industry in South Africa is that it's so small. There's a very um, there's a, it's it's so big, but it's so small because there's, you know, you get to work with various people, and I'm sure it happens in Hollywood as well. You know, where you know all the A-listers and B-listers and C-listers know each other, and they all kind of get recycled and do various projects with each other, you know, across the board. And so we all kind of know each other, and it's the same kind of format that we have over here. So you know, I've I've known about Travis for a long time. I've known the Gambit Films and everybody involved with Gambit Films. You know, Bradley, Ben, and and uh, um, Dad and Joshua and Osipo, who you know for for quite a few years I've had the privilege and opportunity to work with them. One of the directors on another project. So, you know, and that film was quite successful. And I think, I think, I think it's just my body of work. You know, I think there's I've always had I've always I've 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 really been hard on myself to to put out a body of work you know, you're in South Africa, that, that is not just mediocre and, and is not just, you know, when you put on your TV screen in South Africa or you go to the cinema in South Africa and you watch a film, it's, you know, I wanted people when they watch my stuff that they really feel that they, that it's being honestly and truthfully told. Um, and that comes from, from really good preparation. And so I think I've really put out a body of work that speaks that, you know, when you put my name to something, it's it's gonna be good, you know, and 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 I think that's <laughs> what Travis is speaking about. I think for me, it's also, yeah, I think I had, the, I think it was about the acting, the acting um, capabilities and 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 the experience that comes with with with, with putting my name to something like this. Um, so I think acting was always a given, and I think um, you couldn't choose or do this film without both elements, both the acting. And also the action uh, element, the physical element coming, you know, that that is coupled with the action. Um, so yeah, I think I think for me it was very important. I think when I read the script the first time, I thought, geez, to be honest, I actually thought when I read it the first time, I I said to my partner, I said, man, this is a badass film. It's such an epic film. I think it's going to be lovely for South Africa and for everybody who's going to be a part of this. But I don't think I'm the man to do it. And she went, what do you mean? 
I said, no, I just, I just, I just don't think it's me, you know, because not because I didn't think I was capable of doing it in terms of acting it. I think I was more than able to do the acting things. I had various like silly reasons about why I thought I wasn't good enough for it. Not good enough, just good, a good fit for it. Sorry. <laughs> and it was more mainly about um, physical presence and like, um, you know, I felt Theo had this towering presence right. that needed to be there. Um, I felt he was a lot taller, a lot bigger than, you know, you know me because uh, I just I just had the thing when I was reading the script, I felt that that was, you know, I thought there was a whole list of other actors in South Africa that could have played it in terms of the physical, physical look for Theo. But I think it was only after, you know, going in and, and meeting up and doing auditions and doing some screen tests for, 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 for um, the role of Theo. I think it was, you know, about a year into auditions and then, you know, chatting to production and to, to the people, you know, we, I, I started, I started going, okay, maybe, because they kept calling me back. They kept calling me back for the, you know, to come and do another read because, you know, you know how things work in the film industry. Things come your way and then they go away for a while and they come back and then you go in again and then they go away for a while. So it was that kind of thing where it was just coming and going. And every time I went, I was like, it's, I don't see myself playing this role, you know? Right. But, although I knew I could do it. I just, I just didn't see myself playing it. But I think it was only after the, um, I think it was the third or fourth time where I, I went in for another, you know, test. I said, hey, man, if these people keep calling me back, let me go and read the script again. I, I, I read it a couple of times before, before the fourth, um, um, before my fifth, fourth uh, screen test. I read it one day and I thought, and I don't know, I wanted to find something that made me connect with it even more. I needed to find something that really made it, made me connect. It wasn't the action things. I think the action things were just a given. Everybody knows, you know, if you grow up as a kid, you want to do something action. You play, you play, <laughs> with gun, playing with guns. So that's that's a given. But it was, it was, no, it was something, something special, like, you know, the PTSD and and something like playing a father. And I wanted to kind of, and I think that's what resonated with me was who is Theo really? I I, I just kind of read through the script so quickly the other times, but I really wanted to take my time reading. And I think once I took the time to read and see Theo's story and try and get into his mind a little bit was when it clicked. Um, and I think after that, it was just like, when I went in for the screen, test, I was like, if I'm going to go in here, I'm not coming out of the yard. I'm going to play this part, man. And then I really started um, voicing my um, my willingness to actually want to be a part of the film, even after oh. the screen test. You know? I said, okay, cool. I want to I wanna do it now. I'm in it. Now it's time for me to go. And so, yeah, man, it was, it was, it was really special for me to be able to work with Travis. And, and I think, you know, I, I, I just trust, I really, I'm happy that Travis trusted me with the film. And I think we had, we, we jammed nicely together, you know? Oh, great. Now, did you have to learn about P, P, PTSD? Did you have to understand what that really meant? Yeah, yeah, I had to understand what PTSD meant. I had to understand what 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 um, what the trauma is, what post traumatic stress disorder is, um, what 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 uh, what in the what causes the brain to develop PTSD, what at its core triggers that. And I think that was very important to to do because I mean, you know, when you're dealing with stuff that people deal with on a daily daily basis when it's real actual things that people deal with, it's very important that you do that. You know, it's very easy to say, hey, man, I'm gonna do this action film, it's gonna be dope, I'm gonna do my own stunts. But at the end of the day, we must remind ourselves and remember that we're dealing with something as, 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 as intricate and as important as PTSD. There's a, there's a lot of people in the world start struggling with it. So I had to go out and, and make sure that I read up about it, do some research, talk to people, and, and see how that, and you know, let it resonate with me. I needed to connect with that. And, and I think through that process of re doing research based off of that, you, you know, I connected. I connected with, with Theo. I connected with Theo and everybody else that, um, that is dealing with, with trauma on, on not just PTSD, but trauma as a whole. And I think once you, you look at a character and you can, as humanly, you can find the human traits within the character that you is that you connect with and that resonates with you. I think then you know you're on the right track because then you can start telling a story truthfully and and knowing that you 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 in the right direction. You know, so you have to find something that makes you connect 
and that was it for me, you know, was PTSD. And then reading up on it and, and understanding um, the chemical imbalances that have that that cause all these um, these tra traumas and and these uh, you know moments of PTSD and post traumatic stress, you really quickly realize that you know you gotta you gotta deal with it um, respectfully and and in the most honest and um, nurturing way possible because we have a big responsibility as actors after all at the end of the day you know we get to tell stories on such a big scale that speaks to masses of people and you know you want to make sure that you you are on you are planting seeds of change or seeds that just pique the interest and start a conversation regarding a subject matter that everybody so many people is dealing with on a daily basis and so we have a big responsibility to make sure that we do that even though yeah. we're doing a beautiful action film yeah, and also when people watch films too, uh, they learn something in the film, and you know they take that back and tell other people, "Hey, I learned this in this film." Yeah. Uh, you know, not only just the action scenes, but something that they that you know they is stuck with them, but they sharing that yeah. with other people too. But also, Jared, you also had to do an emotional component in this film. You had to get very emotional because, well, I don't want to give a lot about the film, but your 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 wife Angela. Well, she winds up dead, and you had yeah. to really create that emotional compartment in your acting ability and also within yourself. How did you do that? Uh, again, um, I, I think it's. I think firstly, it's it's with stuff like that. It comes with a lot of experience. Obviously, some people, some people, you know, some actors uh, straight at the back, you know, get cast in something overnight. Um, and, and they're able to, to go into various emotional uh, changes, you know, uh, with, in terms of acting. But I think with acting, acting is all about understanding. Acting is about understanding the human emotion, the human body. And I think once you understand the human, human emotion and the cycle of the human body um, is when you are able to really um understand various situations do you know what i mean because then you can connect um so for me i was lucky that i have a body of work and i've been doing this for a long time but every situation is different so even though i may have had an, you know in my previous projects or previous stuff that i've done where i was challenged emotionally to be able to tell a story there's always something that's different and I think with this, it was the loss of life and not knowing how the loss of life happened. And I think um, for me, it was just kind of about staying still, staying still and thinking about, you know, for me, when I go into things, you know, I, I immerse myself quite, quite, quite hectically, you know, in a very right. safe manner. Um, you know, I, I'm, I'm not trained. I'm not a trained actor. I've never, you know, sat in a kind of in a, a film school that will get a you know acting class in my life you know but you started as a young man though as a young kid acting yes you, you yes, had, a, was, you had was, a great very young, film you know? yeah very young so so I have that that was my 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 acting class was was life life taught me how to to life taught me about the human emotion and and the cycle of life and I think, honestly, once you understand and really take the time to sit down and understand the human emotion and allow yourself to go there, even in your normal life, because at the end of the day, we have, we have, we have such an honor and privilege. We have the privilege of, of living and having a heart and having the, the, the ability to feel and the ability to hear. And so we very, we very easily take these things for granted. And I think in these moments, you know, life has taught me to allow myself to, to understand my body, to understand my heart, to understand my mind. And so those things have really taught me to immerse myself in moments, to quickly go, hey, man, I'm, as an actor, I could implement these things as an actor to go to places emotionally, physically, to, to be able to, you know, tell something on a screen and tell someone, tell a character story. But it comes from really understanding the human emotion and the cycle of life and really appreciating that and allowing yourself to go there, you know, in the most, in the mo I'm not saying it, not in the weirdest way. It's, it's, it's a special thing, man. You know, we have a very good privilege here of being alive 
and having all these um, various facets of, you know. And Jared, and I love mind. the way you put that together, the privilege to live. I really enjoy that, what you just said. And you're right, we humans, we really don't really understand or feel to live. We don't realize it is a privilege to be alive. I, I like the way you put that together. Oh, That's thanks, very Al. good. <laughs> well, I run out of time, Jared. But I really enjoyed your role in Indemnity. I really enjoyed it very much. And I really felt for the character because I'm a veteran myself. And I know oh, about man. PTSD and I got friends. Yeah, I can't go through. I ain't got time. But I want to thank you so much for a good role and playing a great character. I want to see more of you also, and I can't wait to see what you're going to do in, a in the future. Well, thank you so much, Al, and thank you too for, for your service as well, man. And thank you for, for everything you've done for your country and for everybody over there. Uh, we love you and we appreciate you too, man, and we hope you're doing good. Thank you for your time too, my brother. Thank you and much success to you. Thank you very cool. much. This is your entertainment ticket, latest and greatest.